if you've got someone in your family who vapes, send them this video. Let's talk about vaping. This will make me popular. I'd forgotten all about smoking. All of my friends had kicked the habit. It's being phased out of public spaces. You can go out for lunch and it's a rare sight to see a smoke plume fag hag on a smoker. That'll go down well. And to me, it's wonderful. Not only because I no longer have to blow out sooty boogers after a night out on the town, but also because it means as a collective, we've taken a giant leap away from pegging it from lung cancer in our 60s. Well done us. Traveling around Europe reminded me of just how far Australia has come when it comes to health. In Europe, every time I opened my mouth for a pizza, it was violated by a cloud of cancer from the neighboring table. And they blow it right in your face too. They just blow their load in your face. Some of the busier piazzas felt like bushfire season. Stunning, yes, refreshing, not so much. So returning home to Oz was literally a breath of fresh air. Oh, but wait, we've just replaced one nasty dangerous habit with another one, vaping. The vapists, I don't get it. I see them as pacifiers for a giant adult baby. Not gonna make me popular. Suckling on this lithium battery infused bubbleberry tube like they're rock stars. Why must we always have something in our mouths? That's what she said. We go from dummies to thumbs to push pops to HB pencils and now to vapes. We've gone from sucking in smoke and nicotine to sucking in what? A chemical pipe? Have you ever cut one open? I've seen less offensive discharge from the outfall pipe of a Turkish prison. Are we not concerned that in 15 years it's gonna be revealed that it's even worse than a gasper? I know we all have our vices. I enjoy a nip or two or six of scotch to take the edge off a stressful day. I also have a nip of scotch to celebrate a good day. Or I'll also have a wee dram on a boring day. Okay, I'm Ron Burgundy. But in my defense, however, Scotch has been around for centuries and some of the longest living people I know have a tipple a day to keep the defib away. But what about our vapists? How many friends am I making with this one? Perhaps I'm just a terrified and rather uncool wuss. It's possible. I definitely am. Chemicals scare me. I've even resisted getting the tox on my forehead because I'm afraid tumors will start growing out of my face and looking like a lizard. I'm even afraid of diet foods. Like basically anything you can't pick or harvest from the ground, it's a nope from me. My friends and our teenage sons were at a barbecue recently discussing vaping, at which point I said, oh gosh, I'd rather you smoked weed than get on the chemical pipe. At which point my friend slapped me, rightly so. Don't want them having our stash, but that's a poor example. But my point was, we don't know what the knock-on effects of vaping will be. And that's why I'm saying this. So the question I'm asking is, is vaping cool? Is it cool enough to ignore the risks? So anyway, I would really like to hear what you think. Um, feel free to tag somebody who vapes in here. I come in peace, but yeah, just stop, please. Please stop. Oh, and like and subscribe. I don't get it. And they blow it right in your face too. They just blow their load in your face. I feel like a porn star on Smoko. Because they're like, oh, it's inoffensive. It smells like strawberries. Yeah, well, so does Hugh Hefner's dinger. And that's not something I'd put in my mouth. <laughs>